Which is better, a Law mattress or a Lisa mattress? That's what I'd like to talk to you about in this video. Hello, I'm Lee Carter and I'm president of Sleep Essentials. Sleep Essentials is a company I started about 14 years ago and I sold at the time, <clears throat> at the time in Roanoke, Virginia, the largest selection of memory foam mattresses. Because I thought memory foam was the greatest, latest technology in sleep back then. And I had to learn the hard way that memory foam is 100% polyurethane foam. Polyurethane foam is plastic. And the chief characteristic of all plastic foam is that it softens substantially with use. Now to prove that, I actually have a copy of a Law Law label. Uh, I'm just using Lowell and Lisa to teach you some uh, very important information about materials, okay? The Law label of the Lowell mattress says here, polyurethane foam, 85%, gel infused viscoelastic foam, which is also polyurethane with gel in it, is 15%. So a Lowell mattress is 100% plastic foam. Uh, I mentioned that uh, plastic foam softens substantially with use. Well, to prove that, I've got a copy of the warranty of the Lowell mattress. I got this right off their website. You can log on and, and download it, read it for yourself. Notice it says here, Lowell mattress, exclusions from the limited warranty include, but are not limited to, one, normal wear and tear. What is normal? They're going to tell you that, that softening the foam is normal, and it is normal. All polyurethane foam softens, as I've already mentioned. Personal opinions or preferences regarding the softness, firmness, or attributes of the mattress. So if, you, if your opinion is the mattress has gotten softer, uh, not covered under warranty. And it will soften, and you will know it. Okay? Now, that is the, that is the uh, lull mattress uh, law label and warranty. Let's take a look at the Lisa law label. I have a copy of it. Notice it says here, all new material consisting of polyurethane foam 100%. So it's 100% plastic foam. Now let's take a look at the Lisa warranty. Notice it said, says here, this limited warranty does not cover a normal increase in softness of the memory foam, which is normal. It is. It is indeed normal and does not affect the pressure relieving quality of the mattress. So they're admitting to it softens. It is normal because all polyurethane foam softens. I can't put enough emphasis on it. It does not affect the pressure relieving qualities of the mattress, but it most certainly affects the support. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist that if you, if you sleep in the same position every night and that mattress gets softer, you're going to get a hammock effect. You're going to sag into it and it's going to lose its support. When you get these mattresses new, they, they'll ship it to you in a box, rolled and compressed. You know, an all foam mattress can be rolled and compressed. That's to get it into a small box so it's less expensive to ship. They give you a 100-day 100, 100 in-home trial. If you don't like it, donate it or send it back and they'll give you your money back. Well, they know, these online-only mattress companies know, and I'm not talking about specifically Lisa or Lull. I'm talking about every Almost every online only mattress company is making a plastic foam mattress. They know the consumers are probably going to like the way it feels when it's new. Uh, they have to give you the in-home trial because you know you can't try it. It's not like going into a mattress store, you're taking a chance. Well, they can afford to take back 15% of their mattress, 20% of their mattresses because the margin is so high. You gotta understand they have very little overhead is they operate out of a back road warehouse somewhere, okay, where their rent is cheap, and they um, make you a plastic foam mattress. Well, plastic foam is dirt, dirt cheap. It may cost us somewhere in the neighborhood of $100 to produce. They ship it to you and sell it to you for five, six, seven hundred dollars sometimes $1,000. Depends on how slick their marketing is. And um, so they can afford to write off 15% of their sales because the margin is so high on the sales that they have. Now the reason I can talk to you about this is because you can go into a mattress retail store and look at memory foam, it's the same thing. It's 100% plastic and it's going to soften with use. And it does this very quickly. Now to give you an example, I sold a memory foam mattress to a man that weighed about 350 pounds. He wore it out in one year. He called me up within in a year of owning the mattress from when he bought it and said this mattress has gotten really, really soft. 
So I went to his house and checked it out, and sure enough, where he laid on one side of the bed, he slept at a king all by himself, and he slept on one side near the nightstand. And he says, if you roll over to the middle of the bed or the other side of the bed, it's just as firm as it was in the day we uh, first bought it, but it's really, really soft. Well, that's because memory foam softens. And I had to replace his mattress, and of course I replaced it with an inner spring mattress, because I realized, you know, he's just going to do the same thing to the other mattress. It's at that point that I realized, I noticed in the fine print of the manufacturer's warranty, the softening's not covered. So every single one of these online-only mattress companies, whether it's on online or whether it's on in a retail store, the fine print of the warranty is going to exclude softening. And his softened in one year. Now, obviously, the more you weigh, the quicker you soften it. If you're 110 pounds, you probably could sleep on one of these online-only mattress companies for a good many years. If you're 200 pounds, 250 pound gentleman, you're not going to use these mattresses very long before they're softened and they're no longer supportive. They're not sleeping flat anymore. The reason I can tell you all this is because I've learned this stuff from experience and I share all that experience on my website, mattresseducation.net. Log on to my website, a video starts playing. It's an hour and 10 minutes long and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the mattress industry. I'm going to teach you about the marketing gimmicks, how they make you an inferior product. They, meaning the mattress industry, almost all mattress manufacturers, they make you an, an inferior product and spin it to you through slick marketing that it's a superior product. I'm going to teach you about the inferior materials. I'm going to teach you about the sales gimmicks. I'm going to teach you about a quality mattress. I'm going to talk about quality materials. I'm going to teach you about the fire retardant chemicals in used, mattr used in mattresses. This is a well-kept secret. Uh, and I'm going to expose it all. The Consumer Product Safety Commission began requiring all mattresses sold in the United States must be flame retardant. Sounds like a nice feature. They're protecting us from mattress fires. No, not at all. They're actually making the mattress industry and large chemical companies lots of money. So we consumers are sleeping in toxic chemicals to make somebody else rich. The Consumer Product Safety Commission does not represent the consumer. They represent whoever's paying them and it's not you. Well anyway, I give you definitive information on that. Please log into my website, mattresseducation.net. Again, I'm Lee Carter with Sleep Essentials. Thank you so much for watching.